Welcome to Bluebell Farmhouse Kitchen. It's autumn and we're going to be making a delicious butternut squash soup. This is going to be um, cooked in the SE tin. It's very, very easy. All the vegetables are all going in um, roasting tin and just put in the oven to roast. Okay, I'm just going to peel the butternut squash. These are fantastic at this time of year. You've got this wonderful colour and I think it just brightens up and so good for you as well. Beta carotene in it, vitamin A, C, potassium, all the nutrients that we all need for the winter. So I'm just going to peel this. The butternut squash has this quite a hard skin, which is good because it keeps um, longer um, and then um, it's um, really good for the winter. So you can store them um, in the shed or garage. I love stuffing these butternut squashes as well. But I thought I would just start with this simple soup that's so easy and it's all in one method and tray. Also, as we come into um, the more winter months, I will be adding a lot more um, spices uh, to these squashes as well. But I just really want to celebrate this delicious flavor of butternut squash. And so that's why I want to taste, taste it rather than spice it all up at the minute. Right, I've, I've peeled this delicious butternut squash. Now I'm just going to cut it into um, small chunks. And then the oven is just going to do all the work. Just put them all in there. This is a great soup to do, um, sort of when you you could make a big batch of it and then freeze it as well, because I think that it's important to to do lots of different dishes that you can freeze ready for um, the next coming months. So just chop them up. You don't have to be really really pedantic. Just sort of wedges because it's all going to be pureed anyway at the end. My little knife, my paring knife is good to get all the seeds out. Butternut squash is probably the, the first um, squash, that, winter squash that's ready. Um, and then we go into the crown prince as well which makes a delicious curry and um, soup as well. It's a joy to cook and serve these squashes up. So now I've chopped up the squashes, then I'm going to do chop up our tomatoes. I'm not going to skin them because they are so ripe and delicious, again from the sun. So just chop those up, really rustic, no fuss, cooking. The red onion goes into the soup as well. I just love the colour of the red onion. It's slightly sweeter than a white um, and it, it's, just, it's just so lovely to put in the soup. Beautiful colour. Just peel that and then just cut it into chunks. There you are. I'm going to add some crushed garlic as well into the soup. I'm just going to peel it because we're going to blitz the soup, so I don't want any peel. Then all the vegetables are in there. Then I'm going to put the lovely aromatic herbs in. Um, so I've got rosemary. So you put a few sprigs, a couple of sprigs in there. These are wonderful evergreen herbs that are great to have in the garden growing and they're just perfect for the next, this lovely autumn winter. 
cooking and flavours. Then some thyme and also a couple of bay leaves. Then I'm going to season with freshly ground black pepper. Good, generous seasoning. And then sea salt as well. Then a good glug of delicious olive oil. And then just massage that in. Look at that. It's just so delicious and looks fantastic. It's exciting. I mean, I could eat that now before it's been cooked. So there you have it. And this will go in the essi, and then I'll let the essi do all the work, roast them until they're really tender to about 40 minutes. Um, this is going to go into a hot oven. And that's it. It's been in the oven for about 40 minutes, so let's have a look at how it's doing. Fantastic. Right, it's all ready. So now I'm going to add the stock, which is, I always make it vegetarian, so it's got vegetable stock in. All the lovely roasting juices at the bottom of the tin. Putting the boiling stock on, really does lift up all those fantastic roasted juices of the vegetables. I'm just going to take the stalks off the rosemary because they're a bit too woody, but all, I'll leave all the, the lovely leaves in the soup. Take out the bay leaves. Wow, that colour and the flavours is absolutely amazing. And then literally, I'm just going to blitz it so pour it into a casserole. The colour of the um, tomatoes as well just makes it such a rich, beautiful soup. Get all those lovely roasted colours and flavours that make the soup. Right, all you have to do with the soup is just literally blitz it with a stick blender um, and there you go. The most simplest, creamiest soup. Wow, this is so exciting. It's my first bowl of soup that I've made since um, spring because I don't like soup. Um, having soup in the summer so this is absolutely I cannot wait and the colour is just divine with the tomatoes and the the sunshine of the butternut squash so I've blitzed it very quickly with the stick blender and I just want to taste it for flavour and seasoning which is really important mmm the sweetness of the tomatoes oh just divine. I might just add a little bit more black pepper. A little bit more sea salt. And fantastic. Now, because this is the first bowl of butternut squash, this is really celebrating autumn and our new season. And so when I've tasted the pureness of the um, butternut squash with the last of our tomatoes, then I will start adding the other spices that um, make it more aromatic, um, like the cumin, the coriander, coconut milk, and a bit of curry powder. But at the moment, this is how I want to taste, just taste this autumn squash soup. It just gives me so much happiness, and I'm sure it will give you happiness as well. And the flavour, cannot wait to taste it. And I always think butternut squash looks lovely with the green as well, so I'm going to add a bit of fresh parsley, picked from the garden. There you go. No cream, nothing needed at all. Beautiful sunshine autumn soup in a bowl.
Really looking forward to sharing with you some lovely autumnal recipes. So see you soon.